How's it going everyone? Another quick video on how to use IES lighting in Vera. And um, the first thing you're going to need is two internet pages up. Um, so we'll go into that now. The first site you need to look at is the IES viewer. Links for these will be in the description by the way. Um, so yeah, you need to go to this site, press the download button and it will um, download um, this viewer. Um, if you get this then you know you're, you know you're on the right track. And we'll explain what this is in a second once you go to the second site. Go to Erico and um, this site here, obviously that'll be in the description as well. If you go to finding this one here, yeah that one. Click the arrow indoor, the first option. Um, yep, you have a list of all these lights here. And uh, I like to just click one and wait for it to download. There you go. Go to design data um, and you'll have these options here. Um, so what you, to, what you need to do is just choose the IES data file and a list should download in the corner here of um, all of the different light settings and the, what you should get is this kind of thing you have a list like this and um, if you click into one of the files you'll see you have the light data here now you need to go back to your IES viewer which you downloaded first um, and then you need to find wherever you save these, fol um, these folders of the data click on them and you notice how it should, um, this represents the data itself of the light what I like to do is go to the light bulb um, click that and you have these options here it shows you exactly what the light is um, the first option here is the resolution quality the second option is the brightness of the light um, this one here is zoom in and out yeah. and the last one is the wall um, like bending in and out kind of thing so you see how the light acts at different angles um, so this is this is kind of a necessity for this film because it shows you exactly what you've downloaded before you get it into Max, which will save you time later. So once you've done that, um, you need to open up your Max file. I've set up a basic file here, and the link will be in, in link will be in the description for how to um, set up a basic file scene. But the first thing you need to do is just make um, a plane, standard plane. So make your plane. Uh, we'll make it white for the sake of this tutorial, so you can see. Okay. And now you need to go to your light, make it a V-ray, um, oh sorry, you need to go to the V-ray IES option, so you click that and this, this uh, box will appear, um, a few options down it will say none, if you click that and you need to choose the, the light data file that you just downloaded um, from the second site, if you click it and you open it, you'll see how it's inserted into the file here. Uh, what I like to do is go down to colour, change that to temperature, change the colour temperature to 3500 and the one below it 1100 and then you just need to basically drag it out onto your scene as you would with any other light in M3DS Max now at the moment it looks like there's nothing there and that's basically because the light and the plane um, are exactly on like into each other so what you need to do is just hover over um, the Z axis lift it up and there you go you can inst instantly see that you have your um you have your light in place it's acting pro um, properly it's all good so all you need to do now is basically put it into your scene or for the sake of this just render it quickly and then yeah it'll give you a really nice high quality lights for your scenes make it look a that little bit more realistic instead of just having like a spotlight um looks really good if you have like a nice texture underneath with um good bump settings all that kind of stuff you'll um, have a really nice lighting setup and um, so that's it guys just a short video and um, good luck with your rendering and i will see you soon